Hi there! In this video, I will show you how to capture the first word and the last word from a text string in Google Sheets. I will cover two formulas that you can use to capture the first word, and I will cover one formula that you can use to capture the last word. Also, you can find a link to the practice file down in the description. And that being said, let's get to it! Here we have some text values listed in column A. The goal is to capture the first word from each of these sentences. Now the first method I'm going to show you involves using the left function and the find function. The left function extracts a specified number of characters from the left side of a text value, and the find function locates the position of a specific character within the text string. Let's see how to use these functions together to get the first word. Starting in the cell next to the first text value in our list, we will enter an equal sign and enter the left function. Now for the first argument, we need to reference the text value, so we can select cell A2. For the second argument, we enter in the number of characters that we want to extract from the reference text value starting from the left. This is where the find function comes into play. So we enter the find function, and we want to locate the position of the first space within our text value. This will give us the length of the first word plus one. So for the first argument of the find function, we enter in a space because this is what we are searching for. And for the second argument, we select the text we want to search in, which of course is the original text value in cell A2. We can then close parentheses to finish the find function. Now, what we are really after here is the location of the last letter in the first word. So, we can simply subtract 1 from the result of the find function to give us the length of the first word. And then, we close parentheses and hit enter. The left function then uses the result from the find function, minus 1, to give us back the first word from the original text value. And, at this point, we can simply use the fill handle to drag the formula down for the remaining text values to get back the first word for each one. Okie dokie, let's take a look at method 2 for getting back the first word. For method 2, we will be using the index function along with the split function. We will use the split function to break the text value into an array of individual words, and then we will use the index function to get back the first word from that array. Again, let's start by selecting the cell next to the first text value in our list. We then enter equals and then the index function. The first argument for the index function is the reference or array that we want to work with. In this case, we want that to be the array of words generated from our original text value. And since we are using the split function to create this array, we go ahead and type in the split function. Now inside of the split function, the first argument is the text value we want to split. So we can go ahead and select cell A2, which contains that value. Now for the second argument, we need to specify the delimiter or character that is used to split up the original text value. In this case, we want to split the text value into individual words, and each word is separated by a space. So we enter in a space as the delimiter. We can then close parentheses to finish the split function. Finally, we need to specify the second argument for the index function. This argument determines which item in the reference array is returned by the index function. Here we want the first word, which is also the first item in the array. So we can simply enter a 1 for the second argument. We then close parentheses and hit enter. And just like that, we get back the first word from the original text value. We can now use the fill handle to drag this formula down for all of the other text values. How cool is that? Let's move on to learning how to capture the last word from a string in Google Sheets. To capture the last word, our formula will actually look very similar to the formula we just learned in method 2 for capturing the first word. So, starting in cell B2, we enter equals index split select the text, comma, enter a space, close parentheses, and comma. Now this is where things are a little different. For capturing the first word, 
all we had to do was enter in a 1 to get back that word. But in this case, we want the last word. So we need to count how many words are in the original text string and then use that number to get back the last word. To do this, we will enter the count a function, which will count the number of values in a list, even text values. Now we just need to supply that list to the count a function. And we do this by using the split function again, just like before. So we enter in split, select the text, add a comma, enter a space, and close parentheses. We can now close parentheses for the count a function, and also close parentheses for the index function, and finally hit enter. The split function generates an array of words for the count a function to count, and then the final count will be passed to the index function, resulting in the last word from the original text value being returned. And of course, to finish the job, we just need to use the fill handle to copy the formula down for the remaining text values in our list. And that completes all of the methods that you can use to get back either the first or last word from a text string in Google Sheets. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, please leave a comment down below in the description to let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I also encourage you to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And until next time, I will see you in the next Spreadsheet Life video.